Okay, let's go. Ready? Here we go. We're live in Silicon Valley for the Cube here at SNW, the premier storage industry conference. 2,000 pre-registrations. There's a lot of walk-ins. It's the authoritative show in storage. Obviously now it's infrastructure, it's cloud, it's everything. I'm John Furrier, my host Dave Vellante, with a multiple appearance Cube alumni. Craig Nunez, thank you for coming on. You're my now pleasure. with HP, VP of Marketing. Um, what's your official title at HP? Uh, yeah, that works, VP of You're VP uh, of Marketing at 3 marketing. Bar, but you're in storage marketing at yep. HP, the big acquisition. Uh, welcome to theCUBE again. Thanks, uh, yeah, it's great to be here, guys. So uh, HP, lots happening these days. <laughs> you guys aren't wasting any time. You're not resting investing over there, are you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, there is no time <laughs> for that. That's when I talked to you, you were like, ah, we're doing sales kickoffs and we're going yeah. crazy, we're flying yeah. around the yeah. world, so yeah. how's that going? Yeah, good, The um, yeah, so strictly speaking from you know, the, the three par integration, that was a big focus, just, you know, getting everybody up to speed on what we could do from, uh, you know, for HP's cloud strategy. And uh, that is now fully in motion. We've got uh, our sales guys uh, out there uh, capable of of taking that one uh, into I was at the corporate headquarters last week for uh, a big, there was an industry conference there, the new CEO showed up, yep. um, and the, the M&A guy was there, and he was absolutely, totally pumped about the integration of 3 Part. Yeah. He said it went smooth, great, you guys hit the ground running, yeah. things are in motion, yep. so you guys are about to unleash some things, can you tell us anything? <laughs> so, 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 you, so, so in, yeah. in early What's March, happening? Tell in early us. March, you did you did a, yeah. like a, a, some yeah. unleashing. We did. So some it was really three part integration. You did some yeah. stuff with with server and storage, with blade yeah. and storage. So we talk about that. Yeah, a bit. sure. So we uh, so first of all, um, just you know, for everyone tuning in, three part is HP's lead storage play for the cloud, for the private cloud, the public cloud hybrid cloud it is the uh, it is the storage platform um, now as it relates to that HP strategy there HP's offer is called cloud system and cloud system really brings all the components to bear the infrastructure the orchestration the, the portal uh, the service catalog if you will uh, so of course it was important if the if 3 par is that platform uh, that storage platform for cloud getting that into that orchestration framework we call cloud system matrix and so uh, you know we have been at it for 98 days <laughs> and I'm the hundred day plan I'm happy to report that a month target. ago uh, we announced the integration of three par with cloud system matrix and that is uh, in effect what we're saying is through matrix you can uh, not just manage but provision uh, three par uh, into your service catalog, your portal for your users to then draw from. Um, the other thing that we got done uh, was the integration of three par with our iBrick scale out uh, NAS technology, and that what that brings um, uh, uh, the iBrick's platform is a, a real multi-tenant approach. In fact, I would I would tell you it is the only multi-tenant block and file platform in the marketplace, three par with iBricks. Um, and so that, uh, that really allows us to kind of take for, you know, for folks thinking about their own clouds, you know, how to bring, you know, block and file together and serve that better. Can you clarify platform. that? Because wouldn't NetApp claim multi-tenant for unified storage, their, their unified storage? So what's different? What, what yeah, so... So help um, us understand So that. for, uh, so multi-tenancy um, is three things uh, at a high level. Multi-tenancy is um, scale on a shared platform, scale. Um, and so that's, you know, I think you know, love the NetApp guys a lot, but I think we put a fair bit of distance between uh, a dual controller architecture, kind of where we're at with 3PAR. Multiple nodes scaling uh, to cloud scale. levels. Okay. Cloud scale, mm -hmm. utility scale. Um, number two, security. Um, you know, we walk around this show with our phones and our laptops, uh, everything equipped with a virtual private network, right? We wouldn't think of leaving home without it. But when it comes to your data, 
um, you know, we've been uh, uh, slow to respond, our industry. And so what we've built into the platform is a virtual private array capability, which really allows you to administratively lock down your data in this shared infrastructure, mm -hmm. right? Um, the, the final element to multi-tenancy is not just storage HA, but uh, a resilience so you can maintain the service levels you've committed to without um, uh, even even with a, a, a catastrophic failure that might occur. So um, so you're able to you know keep people up and running, not just accessible to your data, but the business is up and running. And those attributes are are all about multi-tenancy, and and that bringing that you know to our customers so, is all about utility. So that's nuanced, but it's important. Right? It, yeah. And well, I mean, it's it's. I don't. I mean, know. people why can say you, people can say, well, I'm multi-tenant or I'm multi-tenant. They can maybe have one or two two well, of these okay. attributes. So marketing is you got to have all Marketing three. is way out in front of technologists here. I mean, you know, people are talking multi-tenant. Well, we are at S and W. But but be specific on that. What, what do you mean by the marketing is ahead of the technology? You mean the the, so, the, so the rhetoric and around the functionality? Yeah. So well, uh, is everybody here in you know doing cloud? Sure. Okay, right. is everybody 100%. here, uh, <laughs> most people here, selling the same stuff they were selling 15 years ago? A lot of them are. A lot of them are. In storage? So yeah, it's true. New brochures. Yeah, new, new names. brochures, new names. Marketing <laughs> always gets to the party first, right? Technology lags. Sometimes it never gets there, right? And so that's my point. When it comes to multi-tenancy, you can slap a label on it. Do you have the the scale to play? Do you have the security? Do you bring that resilience you need to the architecture? Those are that's a pretty simple so, question. That's so, not nuanced. So the, no, okay, fair enough. So the proof points then would be to me in the cloud service provider space because right. those are the guys who are going to want this yeah. the most. So yeah. can you can you talk about some proof points there? Sure. So I mean, first of all, uh, seven of the the global top ten are running the three part platform. Global top ten cloud service cloud providers. Cloud service providers are running the three-part platform for their utility offering, okay? So these are guys who've done the due diligence. They, they understand multi-tenancy. They live they, and breathe it. They, they are dead without it, yeah. right? Remember um, storage networks, remember loud cloud, remember Jamcracker. They got multi-tenancy by physically dedicated silos of infrastructure. Broke the bank, mm. right? They're gone, right? right? Because of that. The, the right infrastructure wasn't available in a production way back then, and it is now, yeah, yeah. right? So that's what we're bringing from a storage perspective. Right? Okay, so you got seven out of 10, that's pretty good. And, uh, Batting and average, uh, damn good. <laughs> it's, uh, baseball, you're definitely in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> right on, right on. Wish the Red Sox were Ted Williams was the last <laughs> one who <laughs> bat 400, and that was, you know, <laughs> 700. Right. Okay, so um, so that's good. Now, now, so John was hinting at some some other big bang coming. Is it, what, are, what are you guys doing at the show? Are you sort of um, what's are you well, launching anything here? Is it more of no, just, just we, what's the big yeah, messaging here? Yeah, we are um, uh, fundamentally talking about um, you know IT as a service and how that's changing strategically the roles of IT. Mm -hmm. um, how IT is becoming not just uh, builders but brokers of uh, services into their organization and how they cope with that. You know, it's this whole, you know, hybrid cloud, you know, what does that mean? How do I get there? So, so let's talk a little bit about HP, right? Because sure. you guys have been busy um, in the past year or so. You know, Dave Donatelli came on and all of a sudden you guys, I mean, you, I guess you had already acquired um, uh, uh, Left Hand, right? Mm -hmm. Prior to Dave coming on. And he was sort of, had the handcuffs on right for right. a while. He was yeah. running networking and servers, but since that time, it was an Ibrix acquisition. Obviously, the three-part right. acquisition. The yep. whole you know that yep. that was a yep. you know very high visibility. Vertica's yeah. now in the roster. Yeah. Vertica's now yeah. in the mix. Right? Yeah. So you got a big data play and some some homegrown IP too in our store once location strategy. Yeah. Store once. So yep. it's like great architecture. Total there. facelift for HP storage. You still yep. got a, a pretty vast portfolio. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which got a big install base, so I guess you have to have a yeah. big portfolio. But talk about that transformation and what it's like going from, you know, a little old three par public company, but small, relatively speaking, to 
big huge whale. Monster. How do you company. how do you get the word out, you know, internally, externally? How do you how do you maintain that speed? Is 3 par yeah. able to bring that kind of ethos to HP? How are you doing that? What are you getting from HP? How's it all working? Yeah. So, um God, where do I start? So the um, so the first of all, HP storage is rich with great IP, like you mentioned. I mean, there is no shortage of uh, conversation that, that one can have. And in fact, the way I describe the experience of going from three par to HP is all the stuff that we never had, but so desperately coveted, is, is here at HP with open arms, right? And so, great scale-out file system, right? Great deduplication technology architecture. Um, so a, a wonderful virtualization platform in the left-hand technology. So all of that there. The, the, I think part of what we got to get done is, is marketing guys. We have a portfolio aimed at optimizing folks' existing environment getting them to virtualization in the cloud, uh, and, then, and then helping folks through this hybrid kind of transformation is kind of getting that word out um, about all of, all of what has changed with uh, HP storage. It's, if you'd not looked at it for two years, totally different, right? Completely, yeah. Now, Dave, David Scott, I, I always love listening to him speak because he, he always starts with some tectonic shift or mega trend, and he's very articulate. And it's the accent. So, <laughs> that, uh, this floor is the same way, right? I mean, just <laughs> yeah, it automatically, impressive. automatically get points. But, <laughs> but talk a little bit about some of the big trends that you guys yeah. are seeing. Sure. David's now the, yeah. the, the general manager of the storage division, so you're sort of marching to the cadence of, yeah. of his vision and, of course, mm -hmm. Donatelli's convergence vision. Absolutely. But, but, but yeah. start with... Some of the things that that you guys talked about at at, at three par, but now it's expanded mm -hmm. with yeah. you know the scope yeah. with 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 HP. What do you, what are some of those mega yeah. trends? So I, I think um, back to you know how uh, the, these tectonic shifts, as David calls them, the the move from a distributed or or you know kind of traditional data center architecture to a virtualized data center. Um, that uh, tectonic shift, you know, kind of stands shoulder to shoulder with this move to uh, call it IT as a service, delivery of IT as a utility service. And in fact, that's driving the, the move to a virtualized data center, that desire, right? Um, those, um, those two together fundamentally change the um, uh, underlying requirements for the infrastructure, server storage network. It, it drives, you know, think about, you know, an IT as a service model. Y you are dead if you cannot deliver swiftly, if you can't, you know, deliver speed, great economics, you know, the cloud is all about more for less. Um, and so we talk about, hey, this uh, uh, agile infrastructure, what's that mean? Provision quickly, handle the unpredictable workloads that are streaming in. Um, and, and do all that while you maintain service levels, agile infrastructure. And then to kind of drive those transformational economics, what do you have to do? Well, it's all about driving up utilization. It's not magic. Get utilization from 10 or 15% to 80% and then make it stupidly simple to manage from, you know, it's all about automation or what we call autonomic management technology. Joe Tucci calls it autonomic too. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Did he steal uh, that term from Joe? You? <laughs> may have lifted it. Um, we, it happens to us all the time. Is people, right? yeah, people yeah. stealing our ideas, and we yeah. we feel complimented. Well, we put it out. Yeah. I, I yeah. take it as a compliment, yeah. and you watch over the next twelve or eighteen months. Autonomic. I bet you NetApp's going to use it next. Yeah. So. Um, we now have it here inside the cube, so it is ours because yeah. we are not Creative Commons. We have a copyright to this. How about the, how about the whole convergence thing, right? I mean, um, it's not just about storage or just about right. you know, yeah. computer, just about networking. We were at the HP analyst meeting uh, last month, mm -hmm. and we heard a, a heavy dose of convergence. A lot of substance there. We've been, you know, we heard Intel guys say it's the network bottleneck, not compute. 
Yeah. Um, he was talking about networking bottlenecks. Right. The in Intel IT guy we had on the Cube earlier today, hmm. uh, they're, yep. they're big on, on convergence, right? Yep, right. Um, yep. IT is a service, consumerization of IT, whatever you want to call it. And so, um, you know, for years, I mean, I remember when I was at a IDC, you know, a decade ago, and HP would come in and say, oh, you know, we're a server vendor and servers and storage, and there's an affinity, and it was sort of... You know, just didn't have a yeah. lot of meat behind yeah. it, but yeah. it's, it feels like it does now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. convergence seems like a re buying logical blocks of infrastructure to support right. applications seems like it's because of virtualization. Seems like it's finally here. Yeah. Well, so think about back to our IT as a service conversation. Mm -hmm. Think about the, you know, the death for IT as a service. Death comes from complexity, um, and you know, inefficiency, right? IT as a service does not get off the ground with that. What what drives that? Sprawl drives that. Um, and look at the kind of growth people are seeing in their their uh, server virtualization environments in um, with not just compute but the storage side, the network sprawl in side. general. Anything that make network sprawl, server sprawl, all of it. All the I mean, start with a VM and try to do it without more storage capacity and and pretty soon more network resource. Uh, and so the the antidote to that complexity is data center convergence, a converge infrastructure for your server storage and, and networking gear, right? So if you know if you can get the job done in in one thing versus thirty, then yeah. doesn't that help you get there? And and in fact we had a um, uh, an announcement uh, March first, we introduced an exchange appliance with our partners over at Microsoft. And that did exactly that. That brought 30 SKUs, 30 components, uh, and drove that into a single appliance that uh, was you know, faster to get up and running, Simplicity. cheaper to power and cool, and in one appliance, storage, server, network, and application, all in one, right? It's kind of interesting. We live in this. You know, the IT business has really changed a lot. The whole, you know, we talk about convergence, but there's been a lot of consolidation as well. Um, you got a very strong partnership with Microsoft. Yep. It's invested, I think, a quarter of a billion dollars in this whole appliance initiative. HP and SAP are, you know, renowned. Mm -hmm. HP and Oracle used to be that way, and that's sort of chilled out a little bit. And now you guys just bought Vertica. So you see this really interesting coopetition thing. You, you see it with VMware. You, see, you hear it. You know, EMC talks about it all the time. Yep. You yep. know, um, you know, what do you see there? How, how, how do you see that all going? More, more of the same, or does it just get more intense? And Yeah, you know? no, I think so. The, the customer data center is a, um, a mix of technologies. It's an ecosystem, mm -hmm. right? And uh, for us to get the job done for our customers is to, you know, partner where we need to. And in fact, I give you a great, a great example. One of the ways we, we talk to people about how they get to kind of their, their private cloud is, um, you know, they should be asking us, what, you know, give me the template for me to get my, my Microsoft implementation for SQL uh, done as a cloud service, right? And, and so what they, what they ought to get, what they get from us is you know white papers and implementation guides and deployment scripts. Hey, we've done this before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, it, it's a uh, it's a methodology. Yeah. You can it's repeatable. We call them cloud maps. Yeah. You know, you ought to have a cloud map for each one of these things. And the best way to get that is to drive us to work with the, those ISV partners with VMware, with Microsoft, with SAP, with all those guys. Um, and so, I mean, that's the name of the game. And if you think you can do it all yourself, um, you know, take a look at the data center. Man. Yeah. It's tough. How is, how is the IT service, ca um, uh, service economy, are you, as you're talking about, affecting the partnership and the channel strategies? Because, you know, there are other approaches out there out that, that are in the industry that are, that are kind of old school, mm -hmm. controlling the pricing and the lock and all that, all that stuff going on. You guys have always had a great channel. Mm -hmm. You have the convergence portfolio with, you know, network, servers, and storage. Right. And so, obviously, things aren't getting simpler, at least from a solution standpoint. You guys are doing some simplification. Right. So, yeah. what's the channel, what's the market in the, at the, in the field experiencing? Can you talk about the trend there? Yeah, so, I mean, so, um, I don't know if I'd call it the trend, but so long as you can, you know, ID the, the customer problem and give an easy answer for your partner. 
um, give them a way to you know, provide the customer a, a few simple options. Um, and whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's, um, you know, uh, a DAS based approach for their Microsoft Exchange deployment versus a SAN. Few in our industry can do that. Um, but, you know, very simple answers to their problems, solutions for their backup issues, whatever. Um, you get that done, their sales cycles are quicker, their customers are happier, and that, that breeds a, a wonderful relationship with our partners. The other thing that uh, is uh, important is how we um, um, bring our, our partners into our, our cloud system strategy, right? And how we you know, can, can uh, link with them uh, arm in arm to deliver uh, cloud computing into our customers. And you know, they are, there are, our brothers and sisters there so uh you know bringing them uh, along for the ride big part of it how about um how about data protection uh, um i've been pretty vocal about how the state of backup is just yeah. completely broken yeah right i mean backup's insurance right you buy an insurance policy and nobody wants to pay, overpay for insurance and that's what people yeah. do yeah you know, they but you were they, just saying earlier what does backup mean right is it primary data well, so that conversation with uh, yeah. So, but back, products. but backup is is complicated. Yeah. Right. It's 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 overpriced, be, and yeah. if I want to extend it to remote offices or even my desktops and laptops, it gets even more expensive. And and essentially, you know, you got the software vendors extracting, you know, rents. Right? We know that story. It's Oracle. Yeah, you that's know. the word that we've <laughs> been hearing. Symantec is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that's the way it is. I mean, people are uh, you know they they have that that infrastructure installed, but virtualization is kind of changing that. It's forcing people to relook at their, their backup. Mm -hmm. um, you've got this new technology store once, now it's right. not software technology. Of course, you've got data it protector, is, yeah, and that software. fits in there. Yeah. I know, but it, it is, but it's, um, well, actually, it's, but store it's once is, 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 it's not a, it's not a backup application, right? Or would you consider it a backup application? Or? Um, I think it has relationship to yeah. the backup right. application. You're right. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to work with Symantec yeah. or Networker yeah, or right. HP Data, data Protector or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but the state of backup is a mess, right? right? And 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 there's a big opportunity here to break down some of those silos. So what yeah, is huge. HP doing in that whole space? Yeah. How are you guys going to going to make that happen and and really put your mark in in backup yeah, as you as you appear to be doing certainly in networking? Yeah. Right, yeah. and you've always been very strong in servers, and it looks like you're really well positioned in storage right. now, and generally. But how about backup specifically? Yeah, so let's talk about store one. So, uh, in June uh, 2010, uh, we introduced uh, data deduplication architecture. We label store once, and the unique thing about what we're doing here in data deduplication is this is an architecture not just for inline deduplication for backup but is an architecture that can live on the backup client uh, that is capable of living in primary storage. And the benefit of one architecture across your environment is ultimately you're able to, to move your data around without having to, to rehydrate it every time you make a move. That, that vision um, is, you know, we're probably not the only ones to have ever recited it. But uh, I think we are the only ones who, uh, who can make it a reality by virtue of the technology. That is an architecture that can do those things. Now, um, now that came out of HP Labs, right? Yes, so that was it was homegrown. Yep, yep. Right. And uh, where we're at today, we have a, a terrific lineup of uh, inline um, uh, data duplication uh, appliances that can get the job done uh, faster, lower total cost of ownership, take a lot of the headache out of, you know, deployment and management of those backups. That's a big deal. Um, the, the next step for us is to take that architecture to the backup client and begin to deliver uh, on that vision that we've talked about. So that is... Okay, uh, so, so right now you're taking data domain head on, essentially, right? On. right? And, yep. and, and that's a game of, you know, bigger, better, faster, you know, better yep. mouse trap. But the, you're saying, if I understand it correctly, the leverage that you have is that architecturally you can place that on primary as well? Architecturally, we can right. place that on primary. Is that the plan, or can you talk about that, that a little that bit? Is, the that vision? is the plan. For this architecture, we need to get it in the, in the entire environment. And uh, to be honest, our... So we have uh, you know engineers working away at this stuff. Our um, 
challenge at the moment is not one of technology. It's one of sales and marketing. It's getting at bats. It's getting into those opportunities to, to, you know, to compete and show what we can do. Because if you are looking at a refresh of your uh, backup environment, guess what? If you refresh that with HP today and tomorrow HP rolls out deduplication on the backup client, guess what? You, you know, what you got today is going to, to serve you even better in the future, not right. just not just well, in line. Well, and, and of course, Data Domain did a really good job about t- the whole tape sucks theme. And we were talking to Varun today from, mm-hmm. from Nimble Storage about really, not only does tape suck, backup sucks. You know, so, well, I mean, it really does. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Backup is, is broken. And I think that, and I think the fix is data protection as a service. And when you're talking about you know, service-oriented architectures or mm-hmm. IT as a service mm-hmm. and the whole, you talk about the, you yep. know, the three-par utility yep. storage. Yep. I mean, that is ultimately where this business is, right. is going. Yeah. I think you've got a great opportunity there. Yeah, and, absolutely. And I hope you can uh, can pull it off because I'd love to see that vision come through. You're right. You're not the first place I've ever heard that vision. Right. But you've, you hear it from places that have a lot of different oh, skills. It's execution. you got to yeah. execute on it. I That's mean, right. the thing is you got to get it out yeah. there yeah. and go and do the frontal and do the head-to-heads yeah. and do the marketing and... You know, brute force here and some good marketing change the game on the yeah, uh, yeah. on the competition. Right so on. and Donatelli, you know, brings that execution ethos. What's it look? What's it like working for Dave? Not that it, you work directly for him, but Dave Donatelli is the reason I'm at HP. I got to tell you, um, because, uh, uh, in the otherwise old, you'd be in Adele. The, in the good <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> um, in the good old days at uh, three par, um, you know. But I lost m- more than one deal because Dave Donatelli made made that last sales call. The the man he makes know, sales calls. He Dave likes going. Donatelli. He does. Yes, sales he calls. does mm. indeed. So um, <laughs> now um, that's a leader. It, it leads from the front. That's Absolutely, the, that's the way to do. So it. You get, yeah, so, uh, so you respect that. I mean, he's a taskmaster, yeah. right? I mean, that's his reputation. Is he doesn't. You know, uh, call, it, call it what you want. Execution, yeah. baby. He really it's focuses uh, on getting yeah. the job done. He doesn't doesn't make excuses. Yes. Right. But he. Yeah. But but you're saying that he um, walks the walk. He does. You know, he does. And, and and that's got to have a ripple yeah. effect on yeah. the, the people. Well, and the 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 idea of this converged infrastructure, right? The idea that server storage and networking guys are going to innovate side by side and leverage each other's work to make a better product. Um, Easy to say in a sentence. Yeah. You know, Hard try, to do. Try to do it with you know well, thousands of engineers. I talked to I talked to um, you know CIO like customers all the time um, through our, our our the cube and blogging and converged networking is here finally you know at you know in the convergence and the nirvana we s- were talking about years ago and you guys are well positioned you guys have good marks from customers in mm-hmm. terms of mm-hmm. you know this is not just sorry, a Cisco thing anymore this is HP is a player right. and has a track record yeah. in networking, in storage, and now a three-part kind of modernizing some of the cloud stuff. Mm-hmm. And they've had servers for years. Yeah. I mean, when, even yeah. when I worked there. Yeah. So so HP actually has the right stuff at the right time. Right on. Right. But, Can sto- execute? but storage was <laughs> yeah. always a second-class citizen in, in, in HP, yeah. as it was, it still is, my opinion, by the way, at IBM. Um, it certainly was that case at Sun, yeah. right? It was these were server companies, and they say, "Yeah, yeah, storage, we do storage." Well, it's more strategic and, and now in terms of like we're hearing here about performance. We're seeing Flash, but storage, storage software, a lot of mm-hmm. innovations mm-hmm. around Flash, things like that. Yeah, and yeah. and I would say that that HP's made that trans- transformation just from an ideological standpoint. Yeah. You're, you're not just a server company or ESSN, yeah. Yeah. and you're not just a storage company, by right. the way. Even though you're run by a guy with a big yeah. storage background, I mean, you that converged infrastructure message really is, is hot you get hit one. in yeah. the face, yeah. you know. When you talk yeah. to HP you know and about that. and and it's not just about talking it right. I mean, March first was all about you know converged yeah. infrastructure with the Exchange appliance, the E five thousand, converged infrastructure with the P forty eight hundred left hand right C class blade system chassis, C class blades, uh, uh, ProLiant blades along with P four thousand left hand controllers in one chassis right. Um, yeah, and, and and so the cool thing to me is that and Vertica on top of it with the new yeah, acquisitions, I think that's right. going to be just a game changer. Mm-hmm. You guys can get that integrated across. I know, you know, we asked Dave specifically about big data at Barcelona. Mm-hmm. And there's mm-hmm. all this, you know, softwares at this, but I think yeah. if you guys can harness the analytics side yeah. of it, yeah. that amplifies the value proposition. Yeah. Now, can well, you clarify do, where's where, where does Vertica sit in the organization? Um, I the software initially, right? Yeah, I in? probably would be the wrong one to. Yeah, okay. Talk so, it came so in from so the software side, but in talking to some of the insiders at yeah. HP, um, 
that talked publicly is that Vertica is going to be um, yeah. their VMware to EMC. Well, so, so but that makes that sense. Core so, 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 so you know, there's this interesting battle. You had VCE on the on the one side mm -hmm. taking a you know their their partnership approach, and you got HP's you know approach through vertical integration. And of course, HP doesn't own the hypervisor, so HP's you know playing an an open heterogeneous hand choice, right? Yeah. Right. Versus and, and locking. Well, it's interesting, right? I mean, I mean so have interesting implicit locking. Well, but no, it is. You I mean, mean basically, that, total that, solution that's locking. And you know what? And, and, and VC will end, tell you, yeah. look, this is the block. And if yeah. you don't want, yeah. you know, that management software, then go somewhere else. But this is the block, right? Whereas HP saying, well, we have we have more choice. And I think that's an interesting battle. Mm -hmm. See, to me, it's VCE and HP, and then there either really isn't anybody else. I mean, Oracle's kind of got it. You know, the Oracle's just trying to sell yeah. their whole stack. Yeah. And IBM really is not <laughs> playing here. And who else is there? So it's it's a really interesting battle. And I think that's going to be a huge market, multi-billions of dollars in blocks of infrastructure going in. And yeah. it's right now it's a two-horse race. And uh, and you guys, I think, are very well positioned. I mean, I think both companies, different philosophies, but I think both totally companies different. can make a lot of money there. Yeah. I mean, the, so here's, yeah. here's the approach. Make it totally simple, right? Sometimes choice can be, you know, read yeah. as oh, complexity. I have to, you know, I have to model stuff. I have to figure it out myself. It's order right? for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so make it totally simple. Get a cloud system, right? One SKU done. There you go. Um, but uh, for a lot of folks, you know, kind of one size doesn't fit all. Give me, you know, there's a lot of folks out there who are going to virtualize in different ways. There's a lot of folks out there who are going to run different kinds of databases. You know, for, for those guys, we still have the best infrastructure at every level. Um, and that's, that's kind of where we're aiming, right? Um, so uh, so why, would, why wouldn't you take an open approach? I mean, yeah. Right? If you can simplify yeah, it, like good. You, said, yeah. you can sp simplify it and increase utilization and provide speed economics of yeah. scale, yeah. Well, I think, you win uh, it. By the way, I think the answer to that question is, is that if you're th three separate companies, you know, it's hard enough as it is to do yeah. that level yeah. of integration. Yeah. So you really have to sort of limit yeah. you know, and the flexibility. By the here. way, talk to some of the large cloud service providers. They have premium clouds running VMware. But then they have, you know, kind of the, the, the uh, lower end offers yeah. Built on totally different hypervisor yeah, exactly. technology. What do you, what do, you the do? The cloud right? service providers tell us a lot. You know, uh, don't tell us how to do what we want to do. You know, enable us. You know, give <laughs> us the infrustructure. Yeah, I mean, they a like lot of Citrix, them want to build their yeah. own files. And they got Citrix, example, too. It's not just Citrix and VMware. It's Citrix and VMware. Yeah. They got other issues, so they don't really care about hypervisor. Yeah. I'm hearing. But... No, I think that's right, John. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that, like I say, Judah, it's, it, to me it's Republicans and Democrats. I don't know which one you guys are. I mean, Citrix was only in California, the so I guess you can be. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as Yankees and Red Sox. That's a <laughs> internecine. Yeah. Greg, the we would payroll? go there. <laughs> <laughs> Big and bigger. Where's Oracle fit in that equation? Are they not even playing uh, baseball? It's not, because that's an American What did somebody sport? say the other day that Oracle is becoming the North Korea of... Uh, <laughs> oh, of the IT oh, industry, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love Oracle. Um, it's just I a lot could of be fun. jailed soon. How long I'll tell. So, okay, so that's that's good. I mean, we're we talk, we're talking about the transformation of, of HP. We're with Craig Nunez of yeah. HP, formerly Three Par VP Marketing, now at HP, inside the cube here at SNW with Dave Vellante. Um, having a great conversation. Thanks so right much. Yeah. Um, anything Very else? Quick time. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you seeing here? I mean, a lot of time. Like said, everybody Aren't talking cloud. Um. A whole lot of uh, conversations about cloud. Dedupe's a pretty hot topic, uh, as you'd imagine. Um, and uh, I haven't had a chance to run through the uh, expo and see what everybody's, you know, strutting. No, I haven't. I can't wait to have you. Uh, dinner in there now. I think the people are in there now. Oh, so it's a good time to be in, in there, actually. You know, yeah, it's right good, on. It's, uh, now's the time to go. The, All right. You know, good well, users thanks, in there. Craig, for coming on board. Right on. Appreciate it. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Like the yeah. Good luck with everything. All right. We'll All be right. watching. We're going to be at HP Discover. We should yeah. tell people, right? Yeah. We're going to be at uh, HP Discover in, in June. Yeah. So looking forward to that. Yep. The Cube at in Vegas. 10,000 strong. 10,000 strong. Yeah. Well, we'll be broadcasting and HP know. Discover will be there with the Cube. A lot of guests right. and we'll hear more and more from HP. Looking forward to it. Right on. And we'll see you All in right. Vegas. See you next time. All right. Stay All tuned. Right. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Thanks, Greg.